hi friends so today we will learn how to create a new visuals in power bi okay basically we have covered column chart and bar chart as well as we have covered stacked column chart and stacked bar chart so today we will learn how to create a pie visual okay pie chart and donut visual okay donut chart in power bi so basically uh, first thing is we have to load the data okay so uh, for loading the data we will use this get data option okay we will use excel workbook we will select this data so our today's data is national university's ranking okay so i have loaded this data so see you can see the data set here and basically these are the columns in this particular sheet okay in this particular subsheet so the first column is category then country then their index then their location name of the university their ranking okay their revenue and the undergraduate enrollment okay so um, basically what we will do we will create one pie chart and one donut chart okay so first we will select this visual this is the pie chart okay so we will click on this pie chart now basically what we have to do we have to select the legend here okay so uh, we will create pie chart for category versus the revenue of that particular university okay so first we will select category as a legend okay so see these are the different categories of the university so basically there are like five categories of these universities in this particular data set which are a b c d and e okay now what we are doing we are creating a pie chart okay for category and the revenue of that particular university okay so what we will do in uh, we will select this revenue and we will drag it in values now see the pie chart is created so this is the pie chart for that particular question okay revenue by category now what we will do we will format this pie chart okay so for form formatting this pie chart what we have to do we have to use this format your visual option okay we will click on this format your visual option okay so the first thing is legend so it is already on okay what are the option uh, position is center right okay these are called as legion category a b c d e so these are at center okay on the right side we can select top left or top center as well like this okay but this look good center right okay after that text so we can make it bold okay we can increase the font size color looks fine okay again for title title like it's good after that slices okay we can change the color of this particular slices from here okay then detailed labels okay so what we will do we will see uh, for the labels uh, we can select category and percent of total numbers are not required okay so category and percent of total we will select we can make it bold by using this values option okay and we can increase the font size as well like this so all things are done okay now see uh, let's say you want to rotate the pie chart okay so you can rotate the pie chart by using this rotation option okay so you have to just select by how much degree or by how much angle you want to rotate this particular pie chart so see if you enter the percent are uh, like the degrees okay let's say we want to rotate it by 20 degree so just select 20 here so see now pie chart is rotated by 20 degree otherwise by default okay you can put zero here so this is the required pie chart so basically uh, while creating pie chart what we have to do we have to do two things the first thing is we have to select the legend here the legend is category then we have to select the values the value is revenue okay so this is the required pie chart now you can format the pie chart according to yourself so basically for formatting you have to just like select whether the text you need is in bold or not okay you can increase or decrease the font size you can change the font right font color you can change okay you can rotate the pie chart okay so this is the required pie chart now let's say we want to create donut chart 
okay donut chart we have created already the pie chart for revenue and category okay but for a donut what we will do uh, we will create a donut chart for category and undergraduate enrollment right how many students were enrolled for that particular category okay so directly what we can do for creating donut chart uh, we will select this pie chart copy and you can directly like paste the chart you can copy paste the chart in power bi right that is a very easy tool right now we will just change the shape of the chart but basically for this particular donut see uh, the difference between donut and pie chart is in donut there will be a hole at the center okay so um, now uh, the question was we have to create a donut chart for category versus undergraduate enrollment but here revenue is selected so what you can do you can tick mark this undergraduate enrollment and you can remove this revenue so see these are the undergraduate uh, like enrollment by category and this is the donut chart required donut chart so if you want to like format this chart you can use this format your visual option again the same things are there you can rotate the donut chart detailed labels you can provide slices okay the spacing between slices you can provide okay if you want to like increase or decrease the spacing like means the central hole you can change it from here this looks good okay after that uh, data labels we have already discussed right if you want to make it bold you can make it okay by using this format your visual option so this is the pie chart and donut chart okay i hope you liked the video i guess the video is very informative so basically what we have learned today we have learned how to create a pie chart and donut chart in power bi okay so basically for creating these two charts we have to only define two things the first thing is legend and the th second thing is value okay so we have already defined it okay now our next visual will be uh for the next session the visual will be we will uh, like use the slicer one okay how to use the slicer for the particular data set we will learn how to use the slicer for that particular data set and the next thing is we will learn card chart okay how how to use this card chart okay so this was end for the today's video thank you so tomorrow we will uh, like uh, learn how to make use of the slicer and card chart thank you thank you for joining